Good morning from Fenton Beach. It's a beautiful day. It actually feels quite warm when you're wrapped up. We don't tend to come to this beach because um, it's quite shingly, so the dogs don't really like it on their feet. But I thought we'd have a, a little quick quick trip here as it's our, our local beach before taking them to a, a sandier one later on. Gives me an opportunity to look for a bit of sea glass as well. But yeah, cracking weather for our, our last full day on the island. After breakfast, we made the very short walk down to the seafront. It actually takes less than a minute from the villa we were staying in. And we headed along the seafront towards Bond Church to enjoy the sunshine. It's a walk of around 25 minutes all the way to Bond Church, although we didn't go that far this morning. In the summer, there's also a cafe in these beach huts on the left. Then we headed back to the villa to saddle up the dogs and made our way to Ventnor Beach. There's a path all the way along the seafront, although it was closed when we were there because they were doing some cliff works, so we had to take the cliff path instead. I didn't realise that that existed, but I have to say it actually made a really nice walk, um, possibly a little bit quicker as well. It's a pretty seafront and there are a number of cafes and restaurants, some of which were actually open in winter. There are shops and more restaurants about a five minute walk up the cliffs and it's definitely worth having a stroll around. After our walk we took the van to Sandown and walked from there to Finn's where we enjoyed another breakfast. The dogs got to feel the sand under their feet and then we just chilled out. In the evening, we headed to the Thai Mukta restaurant in Shanklin, where we enjoyed a number of delicious vegetarian dishes. I'd highly recommend coming here if you like your Thai food, you won't be disappointed. We're booked on the two o'clock ferry um, today to head back home. So we've come down to Shanklin for one last walk. We walked up um, onto the, the cliff path, walked along the cliff path, and drop down next to Shanklin Chine and walk back along the beach. The tide's out so um, dogs have been able to have a, a good roam on the sand which has been nice. The weather is fantastic again um, reasonably warm um, for the time of year. It's sunny um, and blue skies. Kerry has just gone to get himself some fish and chips for lunch and I'm cooking up a veggie burger. All in all, it's been a really, really good trip. Just splatting the burger all over.
then it was time to board the Victoria of White for our return sailing. It's been a really successful holiday. We got very lucky with the weather um, and I'm sure that made a difference, but it certainly is viable to go to the Isle of Wight in the winter um, and find lots of things open and find lots of things to entertain you. So yeah, definitely um, an experiment worth doing. The Victoria of Wight is White Link's newest and biggest ferry and she actually is a hybrid ferry the first one in England, in fact. I can't really put my finger on it, but she feels a bit more functional to me than some of the older ferries. Perhaps that's because um, when you've got dogs, you're restricted to the areas with, with hard surfaces, so we never actually get to see the, um, the, the comfier areas of the ship, um, which do look quite nice. Or maybe it's because both times we've sailed on the Victoria of White, she's been taking us home. So um, perhaps it's that, that thought of the end of the holiday that, that makes me feel a little less warm towards her. In any event, it was a nice smooth sailing and she brought us safe and sound back to Portsmouth for our journey home. We hope you've enjoyed travelling with us to the Isle of Wight. If you did like it, please like the video and consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on future content. Thanks for watching.